Huawei is once again proving that it's a force to be reckoned with, especially in its home ground, China. Starting off 2025 with a bang, Huawei has managed to sell a hopping 12.9 million smartphones in just the first quarter alone. That's right, in the first three months of the year, Huawei has surged ahead to claim the second spot in China's smartphone market, grabbing an 18% market share and marking a 10% year-over-year growth. This success isn't just by chance, it's the result of strategy, innovation, and resilience. According to IVC's latest data, Huawei's performance places it just behind Xiaomi, which took the top position. Opido comes in third, followed by Vivo in fourth, while Apple has slipped to fifth place due to a 9% decline in sales this quarter. The shift in rankings is significant, especially for Huawei, considering the many obstacles it faced in recent years, particularly due to US sanctions and global supply chain disruptions. But rather than slow down, Huawei pushed forward. 2024 was a tough year, no doubt, filled with fierce competition and limitations, but it was also a year of major achievements. Although the company recorded a financial loss, Huawei openly acknowledged it as a necessary trade-off, as much of their spending was poured into research and development. And that investment is already paying off. The momentum built in 2024 is clearly spilling over into 2025, and a lot of the credit goes to their latest devices. Huawei's Mate 70 and Pro 70 series have done wonders in the premium segment. These phones boast powerful Kirin chips, sleek and unique designs, and next-level AI capabilities that are clearly appealing to consumers looking for a premium experience. On the other hand, Huawei didn't ignore the mid-range market either. The Nova 13 series played a major role in capturing a broader audience, offering solid features and performance at a competitive price point. Together, these devices have helped Huawei secure its place in the top three smartphone brands in China, and the company shows no signs of slowing down. Now that Huawei is gaining strength at home, its eyes are once again set on the global stage, with its Kirin chip making a strong comeback and demand for alternatives to mainstream brands rising, Huawei is reviving its global ambitions. In fact, the company has already begun rolling out Kirin-powered smartphones outside of China, signaling a bold step toward reclaiming its global presence. One of the most exciting new devices is the Huawei Pura, a foldable smartphone that officially launched on March 31. As it moves into Q2 2025, Huawei is confident that the Pura X will significantly boost its revenue and solidify its position in the foldable segment where innovation and design truly matter. Another major release to look forward to is the Pura AV series. Rumors suggest it will come with a stunning new design, an even more powerful Kirin processor, and advanced self-developed imaging technology that could rival the best smartphone cameras in the world. If Huawei delivers on these expectations, the Pura AB series could easily become one of the most sought-after smartphones of the year. Huawei's strategy is clear. Start strong, stay consistent, and aim higher. With solid momentum in Q1, continued innovation across price segments, and a renewed push in the international market, the tech giant is well-positioned to turn 2025 into a major comeback year. While challenges still remain, Huawei's aggressive focus on R&D, its bold hardware upgrades, and its growing confidence in re-entering global markets make it a brand to watch closely. If this pace continues, we could very well see Huawei not only dominate in China, but also reclaim a major chunk of the global smartphone market by year's end. So whether you're a tech enthusiast, a Huawei fan, or just curious about the smartphone landscape, one thing's for sure, Huawei is back in the game stronger than ever.